Here's South, it's an opportunity for us to come down and train with our American partners in the United States Air Force and the United States Marine Corps. It gives us the opportunity to practice our deployments, as we've seen uh, recently in Europe. It gives us that chance to get a lot of the uh, members and units from Three Wing to get on the road and see how we do that. This time of the year before we uh, come up on the July posting cycle, we're really focusing on a lot of our two ship upgrades and our four ship upgrades. And by coming down here in a deployed environment with ideally better weather than snow in Canada, we can get more lines, more flying per day. And by integrating with the units here, uh, that gives us more training opportunities to achieve those some of the larger missions and some more complex scenarios. From the start of the deployment, we had uh, at max 12 CF-18s, approximately 200 people, primarily from Three Wing, Bagaville, and Four Wing, Cold Lake. As mentioned, uh, 433 as the lead squadron with 425 and uh, 409 from uh, Cold Lake. And those include technicians, pilots, public affairs officers, and everybody that we need to be here to make sure that all the effort that we put into this deployment is worth it. The exercise in total is about six weeks, six flying weeks, and each day we're flying on average 10 lines a day. The RCAF and the Navy and Army has worked with top bases for years. We work with them nearly every day back in Bagaville, so we're very familiar and comfortable with how we can work with them. They provide excellent adversary training for us. By bringing them here with us, uh, that enables us to get uh, more contacts to, again, increase the complexity of the overall missions. One of the reasons we come down here is that we need to exercise a deployment from concept to completion. And what I mean by that is that we need to exercise the logistical side, the operation side, the pilots. It's never just about what happens in the air, but it's about what happens by making sure we can get all of our gear through customs how we can get all of the tractor trailers and airlifts here on time uh, with all the right material to provide the right sortie generation capability of the, of the jets that we have. Spending a few hours with uh, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Navy controllers and the United States Air Force F-15s, it's an invaluable insight into how other people look at a same tactical problem, but from a different perspective, different experience and different background. Overall, I would say that this type of training is, is, is not something you can replicate at home. It's good for the team. It's a chance for the team to get together, train together in a focused environment. Yes, we all miss our families, but by being here, there's more mission focus because we have more time to be here.